Hi, I'm Nick Roulette from Performance Designs, and today we're going to talk about the myth that double wrapping locking stoves will cause a bag lock. I'm sure all of us at one point or the other have heard that there's a myth out there, double wrapping locking stoves will create a bag lock, and I'm here to tell you that that is false. Uh, the research and development part, department out at Performance Designs have done thousands upon thousands of test jumps, if not hundreds of thousands of test jumps, double wrapping, locking stoves, and we've not experienced a bag lock. Most bag locks are due to sloppy packing and improper components used, worn out pilot chutes and things like that. What we're trying to eliminate by double wrapping the locking stoves is an out of sequence deployment. And most of the time you'll get an out of sequence deployment if you single wrap large locking stoves or any of your stoves. The also, also we want to double wrap those locking stoves is because you'll see a lot of people, and I've seen it a lot on the road, they will double wrap the rest of the stoves but they won't do the two stoves or the three or four however many grommets happen to be on the bag and so there's nothing symmetrical with the pack job. We want everything to stay consistent that way we can trace anything back if we are experiencing uh, bad openings. An out of sequence deployment is basically when the bag comes or when the bag comes off the top of the canopy before there's tension on the lines and the canopy begins to inflate and the slider at that point doesn't do what it is intended to do, which is slow the canopy down. And those out of sequence deployments are the ones that are very, very hard and a lot of people can get injured from, from having such a quick opening. I'm gonna to try to simulate an out of sequence deployment. The stoves on this side of the bag are as tight as I would normally have them for a pack job. The stoves on this side of the bag are single wrapped, which is what I normally see out in the field. So I'm going to pull on this bridle and the tension and the force isn't going to be nearly as much as perfect as you would normally get. That rubber band broke like we had talked about earlier and that one was just about ready to go. But what you can see is when this stove released before this one did, that's an out of sequence deployment. If that happens up here, the canopy is now coming out of the bag. To properly stow the lines for our parachute, we want to make sure that everything's symmetrical. So if we're double stowing our locking bands, we're going to be double stowing uh, the rest of the, the lines, um, even the ones that don't go through the grommets. And we want to have equal uh, line stows throughout the pack job between two to three inches from where the rubber band is to where the end of the stow is. And we want that all the way through uh, the pack job like you can see here. So today we went over the myth that double wrapping locking stows will cause a bag lock. We also discussed the proper techniques for stowing your lines using large rubber bands and the dangers of single wrapping those stows. Now take this information Try it out on your next pack job and let us know how it goes.